Those are dried Chinese sausage and preserved pork. All right, I got some hot casing from local meat store. They told me it's enough to make 30 pounds sausage. I'm gonna clean and wash them first. If I don't have enough, I always can go there and get some more. Now I'm going to cut the pork. Today I'm going to use boneless pork shoulder butt roast. This part meat contains like 20% fat and 80% lean meat. It's perfect for Chinese sausage. If you like your sausage fattier, you can use pork belly instead of a pork shoulder or add some more pork fat in this pork shoulder. So when I said I need to cut the pork, I really meant to I need to cut 30 pounds pork for my sausage. Because when you make Chinese sausage, you don't need grind your meat first. I mean, we don't use ground pork for the sausage. We just need to cut them into little pieces. This is gonna be a lot of work. Slice of pork, thing like this, or dice them, cut little piece like this big. It takes a lot of patience to do this. Now I'm going to marinate the pork, cure the pork. Each container contains 15 pounds of pork. So I'm going to add all those spices in each container. 130 grams salt. 300 grams granulated sugar. High percentage alcohol. I don't have any Chinese liqueur with me, so I'm going to use vodka. 50% alcohol vodka. 50 grams Shaoxing cooking wine. 50 grams soy sauce. 30 grams minced ginger. A teaspoon five spice powder, a teaspoon black pepper, and a teaspoon MSG. Mix them all together. Mix them well, make sure all the spice dissolve into the meat. Then cover it. Put them back into the fridge. Cure the meat and sausage for about six hours. All right, after six hours, I'm going to use my kitchen aid sausage attachment to make the sausage. Here's a sausage cured meat. Spray some oil. Hog sausage casing. Just tie the bottom like this. Use a sausage string, tie the end of the sausage. Just like that. Make it easy when we try to hang up this sausage. It has been two weeks. The sausage looks pretty good. I would say it's about 70% dry because the weather has been nice. Anyway, I'm gonna cook one today, actually steam one today, and we can check it out. I also made some preserved pork. They look pretty good too. If you want to know how to make these, you can check out my other video, preserved pork. I'm going to cook this in the power pressure cooker today. Wash them first. Put the preserved pork in the pot. Put enough water to cover the preserved pork. Steam it. Right. And put the sausage on it.
cook it for 30 minutes and then cover it for another 30 minutes. After an hour, let's check them out. Looks pretty good. It is beautiful. Let me try it. Delicious. It is like a jerky, but it's softer than jerky because we steamed it. It's not hard to make, but definitely takes time and patience. I have some preserved pork too. Wow, look at that. Awesome. How tender is that? Those are dried Chinese sausage and preserved pork. I'm going to vacuum seal them. If you vacuum seal them and keep them in a fridge or freezer, they can last really long. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new, like how to make this dry Chinese sausage. And I had the video how to make the preserved pork before. You can go check it out. Bye!